Good morning, afternoon or evening everyone. This is the very first edition of Conf42 Incident Management. Before we get into the content, I would like to invite you all to our Discord server, where you can post questions in the hashtag Incident Management channel. This event was made possible by Fire Hydrant and Jelly.io, Diamond Sponsors, Blameless, Platinum Sponsor, Aviator Technologies, Gremlin, and Incident.io, Gold Sponsors, Silver Sponsors, and Media Partners. Let's get the ball rolling with the opening keynote by Ryan McDonald, Responder Advocate at Fire Hydrant. Incidents, the customer empathy workshop you never wanted. Hello, join me as we dig into how you can use incidents to develop your organization's customer empathy and what outcomes you could expect by making those kinds of changes. I am really looking forward to chatting with y'all. In the second keynote, Vanessa Huerta Granda, Solutions Engineer at Jelly.io, will help you make one more step in learning from incidents, sharing incident findings effectively. Hi everyone! Um, hi all, my name is Vanessa Huerta Granda. I work in solutions at Jelly.io um, and I'm so excited for my talk, One More Step in Learning from Incidents, Sharing Findings Effectively. Um, I am a huge, huge fan on learning from incidents and today I will talk about how, why we are not done after the postmortem. Um, I will share some details of work I have done in the past, things that have worked for me um, and how to create a program that is sustainable for the everyday engineer. So hope to see you there. Too many people in the room is the third keynote by Nick Mason and Emily Arnott from Blameless. Hello, I'm Emily Arnott, the community manager here at Blameless. Hello everyone, my name is Nick Mason. I am a solutions engineer here at Blameless. And we're really excited to present our talk, Too Many People in the Room. Uh, we're going to look at an often overlooked uh, problem that you can run into when doing incident, incident management, which is overcrowding your incidents. Uh, often companies will assume the more people the better, uh, but you can actually run into a lot of difficulties if you have an incident room that's overstuffed with people that aren't able to contribute, um, maybe aren't sure what to do. It creates a lot of problems. So we hope you check out the talk and have a great day. Looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Ankit Jain co-founder and CEO of Aviator Technologies, is here to show you how to automate merging to keep builds healthy at scale in the fourth keynote. Hey everyone, my name is Ankit, and I'm really looking forward for our chat on automate merges to keep builds healthy, where we will dive into different automation that you can incorporate in your developer workflows to keep your builds healthy. Whether you're a team of 10 or 1,000, we will talk about different strategies and pros and cons. I'm really looking forward to it and hope you enjoy the conference. See you there. For the fifth keynote, let's welcome together Jeff Nikolov, Principal Engineer Office of the CTO at Gremlin. Get ready to recover with reliability management. Hi, my name is Jeff Nikolov, and I'm really excited to be joining for Comp42's Incident Management Series. In my session, we're gonna discuss incident management reliability management, and the relationship between the two. We're going to discuss how reliability programs can help you prioritize what you prepare for, how you prepare, and to make the most effective use of your time and reduce the pain associated with incidents. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you. 
The sixth keynote will be presented by Lisa Colin Curtis, technical lead at Incident.io. She will help you understand the art of using incidents to level up your teams. Hey, I'm Lisa, and I'm going to be talking about using incidents to level up your teams at Comp42. Looking forward to it. Today we start with the culture track. Incident management, talk the talk, walk the walk, is an amazing session by Hila Fish, senior DevOps engineer at Wix. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining our awesome Con42 incident management event. I'm Hila Fish, I'm a senior DevOps engineer in the work for Wix, and my title of the talk is Incident Management, Talk the Talk, Walk the Walk. So I will share structured process that will help you handle incidents, and also a proactive approach, things that you can do in your day to day, and after an incident took place, that will help you come prepared to any incident that will cross your way. So I hope that you will enjoy it, and thanks again for joining. Plan for unplanned work game days and chaos engineering is the upcoming lecture by Mondi Walls, DevOps advocate at PagerDuty. Hey, I'm so glad you're coming to our event. I'm really excited to share with you my talk, uh, Plan for Unplanned Work, uh, Game Days uh, with Chaos Engineering. I am excited to share this with you, especially for incident management, because I think uh, game days and uh, failure scenarios are an excellent way to practice your incident management workflows and help your team get better. So looking forward to the rest of the event and I hope you are too. Amir Shaket, Senior VP R&D at Human, joins in to show you how to create a learning culture in your company. Hello, please join my talk on creating a learning culture. It's about effective debriefing to improve incident management and drive positive technological and process changes. I'm excited to share this talk with you and I hope you enjoy the conference. It's time for the tool struck. Reliability is the next talk by Ricardo Castro, lead SRE at ANOVA. My name is Ricardo Castro, and today we're going to talk about reliability. So, what do we have on the menu for today? We're going to start by giving some context about this talk. So, we're going to use an example from the real world, and then we're going to translate this into our techy reality. We will then talk about reliability. We are going to start step to start step by step, and we're going to develop a framework that many of you already have heard about that surrounds about uh, around SLOs. We will then see where the real value of having such a framework in place uh, comes from, and at the end, we're going to conclude this on why all of this is important. Valera Bronstein, Head of DevOps at Memphis Dev, will now walk you through the process of building a low-cost CI-CD solution on top of AWS. Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Valera and it's a big honor for me to be here and talk to you all. The name of this talk is How to Build Low-Cost CI-CD Solution on Top of AWS. During the session, I will explain my own mistakes and the way they've been solved. At the end, I really, really hope you will see how to reduce your own cloud provider paycheck using the vendor driven approach and spot instances and so on. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. The deep dive track is the next one today. Policy as version code, you're doing it wrong, is the next exciting session by Chris Nesbitt-Smith, consultant for the UK government. Hi, I'm Chris. Please come join my session on policy as version code to find out how to make policy sexy, exciting and relevant, which can help uh, prevent incidents in the first place and give you a form to codify the organisational remediation afterwards. Hari Krishnan, founder and CEO of Polarizer Technologies, will now introduce you to contract-driven development, deploying your microservices independently without integration testing. Hi, I'm going to be talking about contract-driven development and how we can leverage API specifications as executable contracts to identify compatibility issues between your microservices early in the development cycle so that you're not caught off guard while deploying them to production. Nishant Roy, engineering manager at Pinterest, is here to explore the world of incident management through his own experiences. Hi. I hope you'll join my session as I share my lessons on incident management. If you've spent any time working in a software system, 
you know that while keeping them up and stable is the ultimate quest, inevitably something is going to go wrong. I'm going to go over how we can empower our teams to minimize downtime and user impact, and also how to build a healthy engineering culture around learning from these mistakes and growing together. I hope you enjoy the session and the rest of the event, and I'll see you soon. On call like a king. How we utilize chaos engineering to improve incident response is the next exciting talk by Aaron Levy, Director of Engineering at Siren. Hey, would you like to hear how we leverage chaos engineering principles to train our engineers on cloud native practices to improve incident response? And how did we bring back the confidence for responding to production failures? So I initiated a series of workshop sessions called On Call like a King, just for that purpose. In my talk, I would like to share with you how we got there, what we are doing, and how it improves our engineering team's expertise. Looking forward for the conference. Thank you. Brian Contos, CSO at Phosphorus Cybersecurity, is here to talk about cameras, CACs, and clocks. Enterprise IoT security sucks. A story of 2 million interrogated devices. Hello, COP42 attendees. I'm real excited to have you attend my presentation, which is Cameras, Cacks, and Clocks, Why Enterprise XIoT Security Sucks, the story of 2 million interrogated devices. So this is going to dive down into some of the nefarious actors, nation states, and cyber criminals, how they're hacking IT, IoT devices, uh, network devices, OT devices, which we call collectively XIoT. Um, physical attacks, ransomware attacks, pivot attacks, etc. We're going to share with you some of the most compromised and attacked devices out there and really uh, kind of get into the nitty gritty of what's happening out there in the field. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks for attending. In the last but not least session at the conference, please join me in welcoming Kurt Anderson, SRE architect at Blameless. He will present the varieties of incident response. Hello. I'd like to invite you to my talk on the varieties of incident response. From when the virtual pager goes off until the dust is settled, what are the functional components of incident response? And how do organizations implement those components? I'll go over some of the strengths and weaknesses of the various models so that you can consider how they may or may not be a good fit for your team or company. This is the whole lineup for Conf42 Incident Management 2022. As always, Free RSVP gives you instant access to all talks. Please join us in a minute for a special panel discussion. Nora Jones, Erin McCune, and Charity Majors will discuss the incident management practices in their respective organizations, J.io, Zendesk, and Honeycomb.io. The panel will air right after this video ends. Please feel invited. Also, please make sure to join our Discord server and post questions in the hashtag Incident Management channel. Everybody is invited as long as you respect the code of conduct. As always, a massive thank you to our speakers, panelists, partners and sponsors for making this whole conference possible and to you for being with us, attending and showing your continuous support. That was Mark. Thank you so much and have a great weekend ahead. Cheers.